blood. Amen. That we are saved. We are sanctified. Amen. And that we have a new opportunity every single day. Do you know? So God is with you. Amen. And we have hope. In fact, everything the enemy is telling you is what his destiny is. Amen. He doesn't have forgiveness. Amen. He is not redeemed. Amen. He is going to go to the pits of hell. But we have forgiveness in Christ Jesus because we are made in the image of God. Jesus Christ died for us. He loves us. So today, whatever you're asking God for today, believe that it's already done. It doesn't matter when it happens. Believe that it's already done. As long as it lines up with his will. It's already done. Amen. So let's start rejoicing. If you're waiting on that healing in your body, it's already done in Jesus name. Amen. If you're waiting for a miracle, it's already done. Amen. So let's worship God right now in spirit and in truth. The song is called God in Jesus name. Thank you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We inhabit the praises of your people, Lord. Come on, God is coming for us. Yeah. 
faithful, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's press in deeper. Amen. Let's go into the Holy of Holies. Amen. God says to come close to him. He says go into deep presence of God. I enter through the blood of the Lamb. Come on, you have access to the throne through the blood of Jesus. I enter to worship you only. I enter to honor I am. Lord, I Oh 
here today. Father God, we honor you, God. Thank you, God, for choosing us, Lord, to serve you, Lord. Do a new thing, Father. Oh, Lord God, do whatever you want to do. Mold us, Father, any way that you want to, Lord God. Sanctify us, Father. If you need to cut something out, cut it out, Lord. If you need to heal us, deliver us, whatever you want to do, Father, just have your way, Father God. We thank you today in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to call up Deacon Moore to open the service. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Welcome, everyone. Family, friends, and watchers from in a safe place of your house with a warm pillow right by you. We welcome you at All Truth Church. This is the day the Lord has made once again to give him the reverence, to give him the praise, because he is holy, holy is the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. 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 So today we just want to welcome everyone and reach out to you and, and call you into the house of the sanctuary. Come and be a part of All Truth Church. Come and embrace us. Let us embrace you. Let us show you the love Amen. of our love within the community and to just reach out in the fullness. So we're going to take it to the throne of God. Heavenly Father, we just thank you this night, God, that we have the opportunity to be in your sanctuary, to praise you, to worship you, to give you all the glory and honor, God, that you have given unto your people, God. So we thank you, Lord, this day, and we ask for a rhema word to come forth, God, to just renew us with a new freshness, God, of your scripture tonight, God. And we thank you, God, and the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good to us. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm excited tonight. Amen. I believe God is going to speak to us tonight. Thank you, Lord. And um, even though it might have been a rough week, a rough day, yes. but I believe today God's word is going to sanctify us. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Jesus told his disciples it's the truth that sanctifies you. Amen. And what that means is that it's God's word that sets us apart. Thank you, Lord. And I couldn't help but to feel the holiness of God is that when God begins to do something holy, he sets us apart. Thank you, Lord. And sometimes we feel alone. Jacob needed to get alone with God. Yes. But that's when God blessed them. So this is a good time. This is a good season. Thank you, Jesus. A good hour that God is doing something very special. Amen. Thank you, so what I want us to do tonight is get right into the word. But let's really spend some time in the presence of God. Thank you, Lord. Let's allow God to change us. Can I get an yes. amen? amen? I said, let's allow God to change yes. us. Yes. Yes. And transform us. Amen. 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 And I believe that's what's going to happen tonight. If you're watching amen. on social media. Amen. Stay focused. Because I believe that God is going to speak to you tonight. Hallelujah. Well, if we could open up our Bibles to Genesis chapter 22. That's the first book in the Bible. 
Aibo, amen, which means origin, the beginning. Genesis chapter 22. Amen. This is my 22 right here. Amen. Deacon Moore. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, I'm excited. God is doing something special in this church. This church is a beacon of hope in San Bernardino. Amen. And one thing that God has been stirring in my heart is for us to continue to do the work. Yes. You know, the other day we were talking about that God has called us to be faithful shepherds. Thank you, Lord. And to be a shepherd doesn't mean that you need to have a title yes. of a pastor. Yes. Can I get a witness? Amen. You could be a mom yes. and called to be a shepherd yes. to watch those little sheep. Amen. Thank yes. you. you could be a dad yes. called to watch those sheep. Yes. You could be a leader. Yes. You could be a good brother called to watch those sheep. Thank you, Lord. And the Lord expects us to feed his sheep. Amen. And he expects us to stand our post. Amen. We were reading in, I believe, Ezekiel chapter 34. Canal, canal 34. <laughs> Did I say that right? Yes. Canal 34. Amen. Canal 34. Channel 34. Yes. Ezekiel chapter 34 talks about that. Uh, God was rebuking the shepherds mm -hmm. because they were not standing their post. Yes. Mm -hmm. They were not doing their job. Amen. How many know that God expects us to stand our post? Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? He expects us to remain. If we're going to be good leaders, good shepherds, we need to continue to be faithful at our post. Amen. We need to continue to be faithful coming to church. Can I get an amen? amen? Especially if you have a position as a leader in the church, yes. you need to be faithful to your position in the church because people are depending on you. Yes, amen. People are, are hoping to see you. They're hoping to get encouraged by you amen. and you make a difference. Amen? amen. And this is not a spirit of condemnation. This is a spirit that... You are needed. God wants you to remain. God wants you to stand your post. God wants you to bear fruit that's going to glorify him. Can I get an amen? amen. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull out my notes really quick. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody say, God, God change, me. change me. I want to grow. I want to grow. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. I'm going to pray. Father God, I just pray right now, God, that you would expand our hearts. Speak to us. Forgive us, my God. And have great mercy upon us to give us ears to hear eyes to see a mind to understand that we may be healed i pray that you will send your word tonight and that you would heal us with your word deliver us from the enemy deliver us from the evil one Give us a desire, a burning desire yes, to be delivered from evil. Yes, we need to want it. Thank you, Father God, I pray that you would set us free. You, that we will continue to hope yes, in you. That the later shall be greater. Yes, Help me to communicate your word today. Thank you, for your word is flawless. And I come to you, God, as an unperfect vessel. Thank you, Lord. But let your word flow in a supernatural way, God. Yes, Lord. Empower your people yes, around the world, Lord. here in All Truth Church. Yes, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Well, the word of God says here in Genesis chapter 2, and it came to pass after these things that God tempt Abraham. I'm reading out of the King James Version. But you might have your version that says that God tested Abraham. Everyone say God tested Abraham. See, we serve a God that will put us through the test. Can I get an amen? amen. That he will test you. And here, God tested Abraham. And he said, behold, here I am. And he said, take now thy son, thy only son, Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell of thee. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and took two of his young men with him and Isaac, his son, and clave the wood for the burnt offering. See, Abraham, he was not lazy. Amen. I believe that God chose him because he was a man that knew how to obey God's voice. When God called him to do a work, he was willing to serve. He was willing to do that work. Amen. And he rose up and he went into the place which God had told him. Everybody say Abraham, Abraham. Was, obedient was obedient to God. To God. How many know that obedience is important? Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Right, Mihan? Obedience is important, right? To obey our mom, to obey our teachers, mm -hmm. right? To be obedient to the voice of God. Mm -hmm. That we are to be obedient to God's voice, not the enemy's voice. I mean, if someone's telling you to do something bad, the Bible says that uh, God's children, his sheep, will not yield to the voice of a stranger. So we got to have discernment, say discernment, discernment, discernment to understand the voice of God. Mm -hmm. could, and some, could somebody tell me where the voice of God comes from? Somebody, anybody. It comes from the Holy Spirit, but it comes from the word of God. Yes. Amen. And not just one scripture, but we got to continue to read precept by precept. That means uh, verse by verse, chapter by chapter book by book that we need to study his word because God's will is in his word. We need to know his word because the enemy is going to always try to deceive us. Amen. Then it says here, then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw a place afar off. Everyone say, Abraham, Abraham. seen it. Abraham saw it. Okay, verse 5. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the, the wood of the burnt offering, laid it upon Isaac his son, and he took the fire in his hand and a knife. Wow. And they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, my father. And he said, here am I, my son. And he said, behold the fire and the wood. But where is the, where is the lamb for the burnt offering? And Abraham said, my son, God will provide for himself a lamb for the burnt offering. So they went both to them. So they both, so they went both of them together. Everyone say, God will provide. God will provide. Everyone say, God will provide. God will provide. God will provide. Amen. Then verse nine, the word of God says here. And they came to the place which God told him of. And Abraham built an altar there. 
and laid the wood in order. So, so what is an altar? An altar means sacrifice. An altar was a place where they would do sacrifices, where they would sacrifice offerings unto God. And in ancient times, they would sacrifice lambs, they would, they would sacrifice animals, and they would do it unto God as an offering. Amen. And here, Abraham's building an altar, and he's getting ready to do a sacrifice. And this, then it says here, and he laid the, the wood in order and bound Isaac, his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And here God was telling him to sacrifice his Isaac. But everybody say it was only a test. It was only a test. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, here am I. And he said, lay not thy hand upon the lad. Neither do thou anything unto him, for now I know thou fearest God. Seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thy only son from me. And what was God trying to see in Abraham's heart is that if he truly feared God. And how many know that God will allow us to go through the test? Because God is watching to see if he comes first. Amen. If God comes first, then we shouldn't hold anything back from God. Amen. And what happens is that when, according to the scripture here, when we hold things back from God, when God is telling us to surrender something or to give something and we hold it back, it might be very well that we do not fear God. We do not revere God. Amen. And God can really bless us until we completely surrender to God. Until we completely yield to God. Amen. Because when we yield to God, then there will be nothing holding us back. There will be nothing stopping us from serving God. And I believe that God wants to bless us tonight. He wants to bless each one of us. He wants to bless your life. He wants to bless your future. But we got to understand that God is going to put us through the test. And that test is that we are to completely put God first. We are to fear God and respect God and honor God and trust God to say, God, I trust you. I trust you with my life. I trust you with my finances. I trust you with my marriage. I trust you with my relationships. I trust you with my past. I trust you with my present. I trust you with my future. I trust you, my God, in being obedient to your voice. I trust your voice. I trust no matter what direction you're taking me, God, that God, you're going to lead me the right way. Amen. Amen. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of the place Jehovah Jireh. Does anybody know what Jehovah Jireh means? God will provide. No, I thought that's what it meant. Amen. Anyone else? Jehovah Jireh. Okay, I'll, I'll explain it. Jehovah Jireh. As it is said this day in the mount of the Lord, it shall be seen. Everyone say, it shall, it shall be, seen. be seen. It shall, it shall be seen. Seen. And it's very interesting because, you know, we hear songs, Jehovah Jireh, my provider, amen. Uh, and we hear, you know, people sing Jehovah Jireh, my provider. But it's very interesting what uh, Jireh means. Amen. What Jireh means in the Hebrew 
and it ministered to me as I, I looked it up. It means Ra'a. I would say Ra'a. Ra'a, Ra'a which is spelled R-A-A-H. <coughs> and it's pronounced Ra'a, which is pronounced R-A-W-A-W, Ra'a. Listen to this. It means to see. Look. Look at, inspect, perceive, consider. I like this one. Have a vision. Jaira means have a vision. How did God provide for Abraham is that he gave Abraham a vision. It means to learn about, find out, observe, give attention, to discern. Earlier I was saying we must have discernment. Amen. Amen. Because if we're going to be obedient to the voice of God, then we got to discern when it's not the voice of God. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. To distinguish, to appear, present oneself, show, to cause, to look <laughs> intently to look intently at, behold, cause to gaze at, be shown, to be ex 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 exhibited, to look at, to look at each other face to face. Amen. See, when God blesses you, he's going to allow you to look at your blessing amen. face to face. Can I get an amen? amen. It would say Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah. The Strong's definition also means to advise self, appear, consider, discern, make to, enjoy, gaze, take, joyfully, look on one another, one on another, one upon another, to mark, meet, be near, perceive, present, provide, regard, have respect for, cause to, let, see, one another, think, Amen. view, and again, to have a vision or visions. Amen? Amen. See, here God reveals himself as Jehovah Jireh. In verse 14, it says, And Abraham called the name of the place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said this day, in the mount of the Lord, it shall be seen. Everyone say it shall be seen. It shall be seen. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time. And said, by myself have I sworn, says the Lord. For because thou hast done this thing and has not withheld thy son. Thy only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore. And thy seed shall possess the gates of his enemies, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. What did Abraham do? He obeyed the voice of God. Amen. He called that place Jehovah Jireh because Jehovah Jireh caused him to see the ram. Jehovah Jireh, listen to this, provided for him by giving him a vision. I believe that God's provision is in his vision. Can I get an amen? You've been asking God for provision, but he's going to give you a vision. Because when he gives you a vision, his provision is in the vision. Amen. He's going to cause you to see it. Amen. He's going to cause you to perceive it. And when you perceive it, listen to this, you're going to receive it. I said, when you perceive it, you're going to receive it. Can I get a witness? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
in Genesis chapter 16. God also allowed a woman to have a vision. God also revealed himself as Jehovah Jireh to this woman. And he provided for her by giving her insight. And it's here in Genesis chapter 16, verse 6. And I'll just start reading. It says, your slave is, <clears throat> your slave is in your hands. And let me just give you a little backdrop is that Sarah wanted to have a baby so bad that, that she was barren. So she couldn't wait. She, so she gave her, her servant Amen. to Abraham, to Mary. Amen. That, that she could, that her servant could have a baby, but she could also raise up that baby as an adopted child. Amen. And things went bad. Amen. Amen. She got pregnant. Sarah got jealous. Amen. She got upset. Amen. And there was family drama. And all of a sudden they kicked her out. And, and so let's go to verse six. We start here in verse six says, your slave is in your hands. Abram said, do with her whatever you think is best. Then Sari, which was actually Sarah before God changed her name, Sari mistreated Hagar. So she fled from her. And the angel of the Lord found Hagar near a spring in the desert. It was a spring that is beside the road of Shur. And he said, Hagar. Slave of Seri, where have you come from and where are you going? I'm running away from my mistress, Seri, she answered. Then the angel of the Lord said to her, listen to this, go back to your mistress and submit to her. How many know that submission is of God? Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. That's so you got to be careful who you marry because the Bible says to submit to your own husband. Hello, somebody. And then the Bible says to submit to one another. Can I get an amen? amen. And we have to be humble. Amen. amen. The Bible teaches us in the church that we are to submit to our pastors. Amen. To our leaders. Amen. amen. And why do we submit? Because there's a mission. Yes. Everyone say sub, sub mission. mission. That God has a mission and he wants us to be a church of order that we learn how to submit and hear, even though Hagar was being mistreated by Sarai, which was Sarah, even though she was getting mistreated, she fled from her, her leadership. She fled from, uh, she fled from Sarai, yeah. but then the angel of the Lord told her to go back Amen. and to submit. Amen. See, when we obey God and we humble ourselves and we do things God's way, God blesses us. Can I get an amen? amen? God exalts us. See, King David was under bad leadership. Yes. And because he submitted, even though he was under bad leadership, he submitted to King Saul. God exalted him. God raised him up. Amen. We got to learn as a church, as a people to submit to the authority of God and to trust God in the process because God will raise us up. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then the angel of the Lord said to her, go back to your mistress and submit to her. The angel added, I will increase your descendants so much that they will be too numerous to count. Yes. And the angel of the Lord said to her, you are now pregnant. Everyone say, I am pregnant. I am pregnant with purpose. I am pregnant with vision. Amen. And you will give birth to a son and you shall name him Ishmael. For the Lord has heard your misery. Amen. As for somebody out, somebody even watching. For the Lord has heard your misery. He will be a wild donkey of a man. His hand will be against everyone. And everyone's hand will be against him. And he will live in hostility towards his brothers then she called the name of excuse me then she called the name of the lord who spoke to her you are the god who sees everyone say jehovah jireh you are the god that sees for she said have i also 
here seen whom sees me? Have I also here seen whom has seen me? Amen. So here she was talking about Jaira, Jehovah Jaira, the God that sees, the God that gives you insight, the God that gives you vision. Amen. I don't know what you're going through tonight, but God is watching. God sees. God sees if 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 you're being mistreated. God sees your misery. God sees the pain. God sees the suffering. Amen. But God has a plan and a purpose. If you could trust him. Amen. He has a plan and a purpose to bless you. To take you to the next level. To raise you up. Amen. Because we serve a God that is watching. Can I get an amen? Acts chapter 10 verse 31. And he said to Conor, to to um, Conorlius, your prayer has been heard. Cornelius, amen. Your prayers have been heard, and your alms are remembered in the sight of God. Let me say the sight of God. And your alms are remembered in the sight of God. Here was a man that was giving to the poor. Here was a man that was all about outreach. He was a man that was out there ministering to people. And the Lord spoke to him and says, God, an angel spoke to him and said, God has seen your alms. Amen. He has seen what you've been giving to the poor. God has seen it. Amen. He's remembered in the sight of God, that God has seen everything you've been doing. He's been seeing everything you've been giving. Amen. He's been seeing everything that that that, that you've been giving out. Listen to this. And he's getting ready to bless you. Amen. Because his name is Jehovah Jireh. And how is he going to bless you? Amen. Is that he's going to give you vision to show you where the provision is at. Amen. He's going to give you the insight. He's going to give you revelation. And he's going to show you what, what direction you need to go. Can I get an amen? And all we need to do is be obedient to the voice of God. Amen. Because I don't know what you're going through tonight, but God is going to put you through a test. Amen. See, before God blesses you, he tests you. Amen. And here God tested Abraham. But after Abraham trusted God, he yielded to God. He obeyed God. He allowed God to sanctify him, set him apart. Amen. Do a work in him. God promised to bless him. Amen. And I want to encourage you today that you're going to get so blessed. Amen. That your children's children are going to be blessed. Amen. This is a generational blessing. A blessing that's going to come upon your children. Amen. And all we need to do is understand that, that we need to trust God. No matter what we're going through, we need to trust God. Amen. It's very interesting that when you look up what word means. In the Hebrew, it means debar. Say debar. 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 And that word debar, it's talking about the word of God. Thank you, it means message. It means chronicles. Thank you, Lord. But the main meaning is provision. Thank you, Lord. And the way God provides for us is through a word. Thank you, Jesus. He provides for us through his word. Hallelujah. And I believe... That God is going to provide for you. That God is going to give you a vision. Thank you, Lord. That God is going to give you insight. Yes. That God is going to give you revelation. Amen. He's going to give you direction. Amen. And all we got to do is trust him. Amen. Amen. We got to obey his voice because God is getting ready to take you to the next level. And that's what I want us to do tonight is I want us to cry out to God and just yield to God and say, God, give me a vision. Amen. Give me a vision. What is your will? What is your will for my marriage? Amen. Give me a vision. Give me a vision for my health. 
Amen. What is it? What 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 is it that you want me to eat? What is your plan? What is the diet that you have for me? Amen. What are the vitamins that you want me to take? Amen. God, give me a vision for my finances. Amen. See, God is going to show us what we need to do, and it's going to start in our mind. Amen. The glory of God is 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 also called a doxa in the Greek. And what that means is the glory that is in your mind, that God is going to begin to work on our mind and he's going to teach us the things that we need to do. He's going to give us insight. He's going to start working in the, in, the inside of us. He's going to begin to prosper our soul that we could have a good understanding of what his will is. Amen. Tonight, let's cry out for the vision of God, what God has for our life. Amen. And I believe he's going to reveal it to us tonight. So what I want us to do tonight is to get in a position of prayer. Amen. And if we could just, if you could just turn off the Bluetooth, honey. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And I'm going to open up the altar here. So if you guys want to come out and pray. We could turn off the phones. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you, God. We glorify you. Come on, cry out for that vision. God's going to give you a vision. God is going to give you a vision, a plan. He's going to give you insight. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. We glorify you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. He's Jehovah Jireh. God that expects us to fear him, to respect him, separate us from God. He's a holy God. He's a holy God. Hagar a vision. He gave Abraham a vision. He gave King David a vision. And he's going to give you a vision. Talk to him, talk to him, talk to him. 
talk to him, talk to him. Talk to him, talk to him. Talk to him. God's people go in the name of Jesus. Loose God's people. I rebuke the spirit of rebellion in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose God's people. Oh, Father God, you have compassion, great compassion upon your people that are bound and lost out here in San Bernardino, Father. God, you're calling us to serve, God. You're calling us to work. You're calling us, God, to, to be obedient to your voice, God. Give us the strength. Give us the strength. Give us the strength. Give us a vision. Give us a vision. Give us a vision for our health. Give us a vision for our marriage. Give us a vision for our family. Give us a vision for the church. Give us a vision for the kingdom. Give us a vision for our ministries. Give us a vision for our churches. Oh, Father, you are Jehovah Jireh. The God that sees, the God that provides through vision. The God that provides through vision. Oh, let God minister to you too. Let God minister to you. Let God minister to you. He's going to expand. He's going to expand his vision in you. He's going to enlarge your capacity. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. God's going to show you, amen, that you can do what he's calling you to do. He's going to show you. He's going to show you that you can grow in those areas. He's going to show you that you can go to, that you, that you can go the distance. He's going to show you that you're able. He's going to show you that you, you can accomplish the mission. He's going to show you that you can work out that marriage. He's going to show you that you're going to prosper. He's going to show you that your grandchildren are going to be blessed. Your children's children are going to be blessed. He's going to show you that you're going to leave a legacy. He's going to show you that you're, Im you're impacting and you're influencing your generation and the next generation. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah.
Father, we give you the praise, we give you the praise, we give you the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, we glorify you, we bless your name. 